Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about Psalm 8. We're going to be um, looking what um, what's in this psalm and, and how important it is. Um, this psalm is, is a very important psalm. Um, you know, David is talking within this psalm, and he is um, giving, painting a picture. He's painting a picture for us, and he's really giving us a close look of who God is, of how majestic God is you know he's talking about the greatness of God the glory of God the honest of God and how you know God in the psalm he's talking about how God has set his glory above the earth and, and he's talking about the heavens and, and the works of God in the heavens you know when you look at the stars you look at the planets you look at um, the things that exist in the universe you, you see the works um, that that God has done with his hands it, it is quite astonishing it is quite you know it really takes you into another state where you're thinking about the things of God when you're when you're thinking about who God is and what he's capable of um, and, and David is really taking this time his time within this psalm to talk about God to to really think about God and to really um, um, tell us that that God is amazing that that he with his hands he has formed the stars he has formed the planets he has formed the earth he has created man and, and David is also saying you know God is so amazing God is so great it's a, it's a wonder that that he's taken time to think about human beings to think about man to think about the son of man and give the, the son of man so much power so much um, honor um, because you know God created man and he put he gave man um, the ability to control animals to be the master and to be the boss of animals and and, and David goes in and how you know how much glory and honor and, and prestige um, God has placed on, on humans and, and how God has blessed humans and, and that it's it's really an honor that that God is mindful of us that God is concerned for us and, and that right there for me is really shocking where where David is talking he's saying that that God is mindful of human beings now that is is very significant that God God is so great so amazing he, his kingdom is already um, established in heaven and he's establishes his kingdom and he's he has all the power all the glory all the prestige and yet he still takes time to think about human beings. He still takes time to think about us. He still takes time to care about our emotions, our feelings, what we're going through. When you know, a lot of people think that God is a distant God, that He's far away. But throughout the Bible, you know, God makes sure that we understand that He's always with us, that He's always um, looking for us, that He's always seeking us, that He's always searching our hearts and our minds. Um, and that's quite significant when we when we think about that. That's quite significant. Uh, when we focus on that, because we know God is for us, and if He's um, for us, and who can be against us? Now that that is very powerful. That is very significant. Uh, and and you know David goes on. He's saying how majestic God is, how great God is, how powerful God is, um, and how He has done this thing of of giving um, mankind, humans, us, the ability to 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 rule over the things of of the earth. Um, and and that that is very special within within of itself. That God has mercy upon us. So this psalm, I'll say, you know, in terms of deeper meaning, in terms of analysis, in terms of looking at this psalm deeper, it's really looking at the honest, the amazing, the amazingness, I, I guess you could say, of God and how wonderful he is, of how great he is and, and how powerful um, he is. You know, he's omnipresent, omnipotent, he's omniscient, and, and God can do all things. Um, and he created all things and all things were created for him by him. And, and, and that's mind, mind boggling, really, when we think about it, how great God is and what he has been able to do um, and what he has continually do throughout the universe. Um, so so this psalm is, is, a, is, is a psalm that's glorifying God's name, that's exalting God's name. And that's one thing I'll say about the psalms, one thing I love about them. It's really David, David going in deep. Um, in a lot of these psalms, David going in deep about who God is, his personality, how wonderful he is, how loving he is, how merciful he is. You know, we have to understand God's personality. If you want to grow your relationship with God, if you want to understand him on a deeper level, you have to understand his personality. God is, is kind. He's loving. He's gracious. Um, he's 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 a majestic and, and, and just wonderful and uh, magnificent. And that's why one thing, you know, one thing that the Bible reveals to us is that when we're in the presence of God, 
all that you have time to say, you know, is holy, holy, holy. Um, because he is holy. He is good. He is wonderful. And just looking at him uh, would would just would shock you. Just looking at him uh, would just um, your whole being uh, would would be, you know, because because when in the Bible we know that Moses went to Mount Sinai and when he got when he got into God's presence, he began to glow. He began to to be as bright um, like. Um, God is, you know, Jesus is the, is the light of the earth. God is light. And so we, as, as the sons and daughters of light, as the sons and daughters of God, when, when he's looking upon us, when we're in his presence, we, we, we become light itself, you know, because when we're in his presence, we become of him and not of the world. Um, his will, his ways are, are set within us and we become more like him every single day in the same way that he's bright in the same way that he's glorious we become bright we become glorious because nothing unholy nothing on un, that's 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 not pure um can be in the presence of god so if if, if god has saved you if god has kept you for himself you will be glorified you will be honor will be placed on your heads and this is what david is talking about here within the psalm he's saying that Wow, this is very amazing. He's saying that because we are seeking God, because we are in God's presence, what's happening is that what's happening is that, you know, he's glorifying us. He's making us holy. He's sanctifying us. He's because he's mindful of us, because he's thinking about us, because he knows us. Um, he, he has given us places of power, places of positions, honor. Um, and, and this is very significant because that's how much God loves us. So his glory, his honor, his his majesty is something that's not, it, it's for him. His glory is above the earth, but at the same time, it's raining down upon us. Now that is absolutely beautiful. That is absolutely significant. And when we look at that, that in, in this Psalm and Psalm 8, and when we look at that, we can understand how wonderful God is, how amazing God is. And when we focus on that, uh, we can understand uh, uh, who he is in our lives. So that that's very significant. That's very wonderful within uh, um, Psalm eight here. Um, that that you know we're looking at God's honest. We're glorifying His name. David is exalting Him. He's saying how great God is. He's saying you know the works of His hands. Um, the, you know God is so great that it's it's a shock that He's He's taken time to think about to be mindful of humans. He's taken time to give us the, the time His time. His time is precious, and and God has given us his time because he loves us because he cares about us and, and he's glorious he's so glorious that he has time for us um and he's so glorious that you know all the hosts of heaven um all the all all of creation um is for god created by god um his his architecture his glory his his wonderfulness it's it's all just awestruck and, and and David is saying here that God's name is great it is wonderful it is above all names because well God is just good God is just great God is just uh, majestic and wonderful and, and there's no words to explain and and the fact that this wonderful being this loving being this um, being that has no end um, took the time to create humans um, even when they fell, he took the time to redeem them, to redeem them, to crucify his son for them, and to reconcile humans back unto himself. That is just really amazing, and and it it's just wonderful that that this psalm really looks into this and and really looks at this um, wonderful psalm. Glorifies God, exalts God, uh, and, and it. it shows us um, what we mean to God, how valuable we are to God, because it's also saying that God created us a little bit lower than, than, than God himself and the angels in heaven, a little bit lower. So God, you know, we are valuable in the eyes of God. If we weren't valuable, he would have never crucified his son for us. And, and that's why it's really a shame that people don't understand how much God loves them, uh, because our true home, all humans, because God wants all men to be saved. You know, all humans belong with God and God wants them to repent, stop, you know, doing wicked things, stop doing evil and seek him. And he will show them uh, the, the, the straight and narrow path um, to heaven, to um, to be reconciled to him. Um, and so it's very beautiful when, when you read Psalm 8 and you, and you see how the greatness of God, how good he is, how great he is. Um, and yet he still takes time to be mindful of us. So very significant, very significant. Um, but that's that's what I had to say about this psalm. Uh, you know, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video.